Okay, so this equation that we are given is the equation that converts um, Celsius into Fahrenheit. Okay, so it says to round to the nearest degree if necessary, so that just means if we have a decimal answer, round it so it's not a decimal anymore to the whole number. So first of all, it asks for our input variable and quantity. So when we're given an equation, this variable that's all by itself is always the output. So we know that the F, or you, I will also accept F of C, that represents the temperature in Fahrenheit. Whereas the number over here, the C, the Celsius represents, the C represents the temperature in Celsius. So the C represents the temperature in Celsius and F is the temperature in Fahrenheit. All right, so now let's go ahead and move to part C, which says find F of 25. So what F of 25 is saying, it's saying instead of C, because C is in the parentheses, now there's a 25 in the parentheses. So it's saying take the C out and find its value when the C is 25. So we're going to substitute in 25 here for the variable. So now we're going to go ahead and do 9 fifths times 25, which is 45. And then 45 plus 32 is 77. So what that represents is when the Celsius is 25 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature is equivalent to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So our answer is 77, and now we need to explain it. So we can say when it is 25 degrees Celsius, it is the same as 77 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the same temperature in a different um conversion, so Celsius versus Fahrenheit. All right, so now we're going to do part D. It says solve for C. So we need to solve an equation, it tells us. It tells us to solve for C. So we're going to take our equation here, and we need to solve for C. So that means we need to leave the C there, and it's telling us instead of F of C, it's telling me to plug in right here 113 for this whole thing. So that way I can solve for C. Okay, so to solve for C, I want to get this by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 32. which is 81. And then here we have a fraction. So instead of doing 9 fifths times C, the inverse is if we multiply by the, um, or instead of dividing by 9 fifths, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So the 9's will cancel and the 5's will cancel. So essentially it's 45 over 45, which is just 1C. So we have C by itself there. Whatever we do to the right side, we have to do over here to the right or to the left side. And when we multiply 81 by 5 ninths, we would get 45 for C. So the value of C is 45. And now we have to explain what it means. So we can say that this means when the temperature is 45 degrees Celsius, because it's 45 is C, it is equivalent, or it is the same thing as 113 degrees Fahrenheit.